I was working in this place, like Las Vegas, all lights and mirrors, but dark, you know? Like, they had no windows, and they didn't know whether it was day or night, and the clocks don't work. There's a man's voice, too, coming out of what would be the sky. Like God, only the sky is blue with these white starlights. Like God on Valium. People are grabbing at my feet. I can't get their hands because I'm busy and I've got a job to do. But what I don't do is shove the pointy bits of my shoes into the soft bits of the hands because after all everyone's hungry and they're just dumb guys. I'm not sure what they're hungry for. It's not me, not really, and it's not burgers and fries. I start crying a bit. My mascara is running down my face and soon I'm sobbing so hard that even the food gets soggy and then everyone starts crying and we're making so much bloody noise we drown out the voice of God. Do you believe in love? Well, I believe in respect and I definitely believe in sex because that's necessary. Mm. But love? No. Not a single guy that I've met has made the slightest difference in my life. Maybe you just haven't met the right one yet. <laughs> Come on, I've met him more times than I care to admit. Well, maybe you just didn't give him a chance. I've given him plenty of chances. What's the longest relationship you've had? Why drag it out? How many people have you even slept with? I don't know. Last count ages ago. Probably about a hundred. That's not true. Young women need the prom. It's a rite of passage as sacred as getting your driving licence or your first bra. And it may be the only chance I ever get to dance with a boy. Maybe someone will never get down on one knee and offer me a diamond ring. Maybe I'll never walk up the aisle with a smug look of bridal triumph. But it's my right, and the right of every frumpy, plain, bookwormish, soon-to-be librarian to have one night of Cinderella magic. Even if we have to go with our cousin, or our gay best friend, we will have a prom, and you will help me. Of course. It could have happened when I was at work and she'd have to get a taxi. On the trial run, he was sweating, he was trying so hard. I wasn't. I was eight months. It was 17 minutes on the trial run. We picked up the case, we did everything. The trial run was perfect. 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 But a couple of weeks later... She started... She, um... There was this blood. She bled. Just this blood? Nurses rushed out and doctors and... Next thing I know, they've got their fingers up her and in her and they're all frowning at each other and... They start feeling my belly, feeling inside me. Where's the blood coming from? What does it mean? And the doctor tells us. Five minutes and the doctor tells us. Five minutes and he just knows. Antepartum hemorrhaging. Antepartum. Antepartum. The placenta had separated too early so that... Sounds like a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock who's... Um, 